As the MCU continues to move towards a future that doesn't have the mainstays like Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America as prevalent as they were before, we're going to continue to see new conceptual art from the previous films. Now we're going to look at one of the many armors that Iron Man might have worn at some point. Now I personally, I always talk about this, I love seeing concept art of what we might have gotten or what was kind of put to the side or what they rejected for one reason or another. And I've talked about it before, one of my favorite suits in Marvel for Iron Man is the stealth suit and now we have another look. Now this suit, honestly, I can 100% already see why they didn't use it and it hit me like the moment I saw it. It looks like War Machine, especially with that red. Now I get it, you know, it's not as bulky as a War Machine suit, but again, the result semblance is right there and yes I know the stealth suit is supposed to be this darker more sleek thing a thing that can blend in and go invisible and use you know like it's optics to trick your eyes but it just doesn't scream Iron Man considering Iron Man colors are way more you know bold and red and gold having him in a black suit literally would have had people questioning why is he wearing War Machine's armor now I know somebody's gonna bring up the fact being like well audiences aren't that stupid and again I have to take you back through history History because if you guys remember, multiple MCU films had to add additional dialogue or change elements of them because the test audiences were confused to what they were seeing. In Age of Ultron, for example, they explained that the angrier the Hulk got, he would turn gray. Audiences thought that there were two different Hulks, so they decided, you know what, we're just going to keep him green because honestly, it's not worth it because the audience is apparently too stupid to understand the dialogue we just told them. And that scene in Iron Man 3 with the suit and how it's being handled and remote controlled, again, they had to add extra things in there to set that up because people didn't understand what was happening with it. So you can understand if suddenly you have a film where War Machine exists in this universe and he might even even be in it because well, let's face it Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame and then you have Tony Stark show up in a black suit with red they're literally going to be scratching their head going but Don Cheeto is Tony Stark even Iron? Yeah, so it was a smart call. I like the design, but I don't think we'll ever see it. And, um, you know, it's one of those designs that they were smart to keep it out. It was a good decision. And realistically, I, I don't know where it would have fit, like, at all what stealth suit is for is stealth where could they have stealthed with it i just don't see it so overall yeah it's a good design but i'm glad they didn't use it